Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting and today what I'm going to be doing is making a keepsake book that I'm planning to give to somebody but I'm going to do it a little bit different there's no sewing or anything involved in it what I've done is I had some paper and I've done it into a zigzag like this. I'm going to make a cut hard cover and base for it, put a ribbon in it as well so it can be tied up. So this is gonna be fairly easy to do. I'm going to be using, which still smells absolutely delicious, my saving, saving foam? My shaving foam marbled paper for the cover. First of all, I'm going to straighten up these edges. So I've got a nice neat edge because this has been sitting around for quite a while and that's really easy to do. Just put your straight edge there and then just cut through it. I'm gonna do several little cuts on this. I've got my two bits of board cut out now and they're about the same size. And all I'm going to do is paste those up and then put them onto this piece of paper. Put a bit of weight on them, let them dry for a few minutes and then move on. I'm going to be using good old wood glue for this because, well, I like the wood glue. I don't want too much on here. Just enough to give me enough on there to stick. I'm using my glue brush. Spread that around a bit and then I will glue them on. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I've got it all around my edges. So all I need to do now is put this on, making sure that I give enough room around it to fold the edges in and push that down. And then I'll do the same for the other one. And I'll pop a weight on it while that's drying to hold that down nice and flat. These weights have been on here about 10 minutes. That should be enough for this part of it. And now I will be using those again in a minute. And what I'm going to do is trim this down the middle. And then trim all these sides up so they're about the same size as that. And I will keep these all, all these little off cuts. I've just put them in a box because I might use them to make bookmarks with or anything. I don't throw nothing away. I am a crafter, not a hoarder. And I've also got this little gadget. I've not used it before. And it's to give me a 45 degree angle. It's a 3D printed thing. And it really looks like it's going to work quite well. And you just put it on there. It literally costs hardly anything. I got it off the internet, of course. It leaves the right amount of gap and gives you a perfect 45 degree angle every time. That has saved so much time. And it gives you the right amount of little space there as well to be able to tuck in. So now it's time to glue these sides down. And all I'm going to do is run a little bead of glue along here. Get my glue stick out. Spread that out nicely so it's on both sides. And making sure I get the edges of that card as well. Turn it like that and push it over. So I'm very happy with that, how that's glued on there. I'm gonna do the same the other side. Now, the more I learn about this book binding, the more I realize I need to learn. And one of those is the way the grain of the paper goes and the card goes to stop it curling and things like that. So that is the next thing I'm going to learn. But at the moment, I'm quite happy with what I've got and what I'm doing. So again, turn that over. And those nice, neat cuts are looking amazing. So let's hope they all join up. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And the reason that you have these little extra bits are, I'll show you, when you do this bit here and you put your glue on, so what you do is you push that over, that little corner there, over like that, onto there, both part sides. Then you turn this over and that should give you a really nice, neat finish. And it does. Look at that. I'm a... That's amazing, that has given it such a nice, neat cut. And that's that one done. So I've got both of those done now, and I think they're looking really pretty. And now I'm just gonna put a bit of weight on them again for about 10 more minutes, and then I can finish them off. Well, they're all glued together now, and what I've done is I've made two smaller ones like that to go there, because I want to put a piece of ribbon through the middle here to be able to tie this book up with, and that will hold it down a lot harder and tighter than if I was to just use paper. So I'm gonna glue this, these onto the backs here like that, and put a weight on them, and then I can glue the book in, and then this ribbon will be in there nice and tight. And that'll be easy to do. I'm just gonna put a little bead of glue here to keep that ribbon in the right place. And now I'm just gonna cover this back bit in glue, put that on there, and then weigh it down. Well, they're all glued now, and they're on there hard, and all I need to do is put onto this the insert, the folded insert, and I'm going to do that in the similar sort of way. I'm going to paste paste all over this, and then put it onto here, and glue that 
down and then do the same for this side as well. This is all finished now and it's all nice and dry and it opens up really nicely. So we've got the first pages in there and then if you want to do it the other way, you can. And you can put stuff in there, draw or put pictures or whatever you want to do. The ribbon is nice and tight in there. I wish I hadn't used a black ribbon, but there you go. That's what you do. <laughs> you make mistakes. I wish I'd done a, a, a ribbon that matched the colours. I've also cut out this on my Cricut that I'm going to put in the middle here. Or as near to the middle as I can. And pop that on there. And that just says you are loved in a silver vinyl. So such a simple thing to make, but I think it would make a great gift. So there we go, you are loved. Little bow around it. All done really easily using the equipment you've got. And when you look in the inside, because I covered those two extra panels as well, it I think that just looks really sweet and lovely. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Please boot that like button if you've enjoyed this project. It really does help me know what sort of projects you like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Take care. Enjoy your crafting. Bye.